So just a reminder, there's no Sunday school this week oh. because of Christmas, so you don't have to teach anywhere this Sunday. But isn't that a little ironic that we celebrate the birth of our Lord and Savior by not having Bible study? Okay, well, so if you were going to teach on December 23rd, what would you teach about? I'd start a 12-week study on Schleiermacher's theology for sure. I teach about how Jesus is the eschatological manifestation of the ground of our being. No, I think keep it simple and talk about the fact that Jesus probably wasn't born at Christmas time anyway. Well, actually, Ryan, there's an ancient Jewish tradition that prophets are conceived and die on the same day. So if Jesus dies in the spring and is conceived in the spring, he could have very easily been born on December 25th. And I do not appreciate you denigrating the church's traditions. Uh, like I don't this. know about that. Uh, I think maybe it's a good idea we're not having Sunday school on December 23rd. <laughs> Why don't you go ask some other ministers what they think about it? We wouldn't be teaching anything because we wouldn't have enough teachers here. I mean, really, the faithful few that are here every single Sunday to teach our kids deserve a couple of Sundays off around Christmas time to be with their families. And subs, uh, I mean, I just won't even go there. This is the perfect Sunday to teach preschoolers about God's love by sending baby Jesus. We could build a manger with blocks, we can make Mary and Joseph with pipe cleaners, and we could use cotton balls to make sheep. Is that not perfect? Very important theological debate. Would Jesus be more of a Beatles guy or a Stones guy? Jesus was a refugee. It's a good day to remember that if Mary and Joseph came to Wilshire, they'd want to go to the Wilshire Welcome class first. I think this Sunday we need to have a lesson about Joseph. You know he was a senior adult, and I believe that uh, he probably didn't identify as one, but he was old. So Doug, the residents and I were having a really important theological discussion. Uh, given that it's the Sunday before Christmas, and that it's so close to Christmas, we're not having Sunday school this week. But we were thinking, if we were teaching Sunday school hmm. on that Sunday, what would what would we be teaching? So, if you were teaching Sunday school the Sunday before Christmas, hmm. what would you teach? Hmm. Well, you know, it's, it's really hard to say because I don't teach Sunday school that often. Because after all, I want the choir to be robed and ready about 15 minutes after Sunday school starts. Hmm. You felt that was funny. <laughs> uh, you should talk to Mark. He's been teaching Sunday school for 30 years. Has anybody seen Mark anyway? I think he's off working on his book, isn't he? I thought he was at a conference. No, no, no. I thought he was at a board meeting for something. Wait, isn't Mark the one that's supposed to be here so that George can be gone? Oh, uh, right. Hey, uh, you guys looking for me? Oh, there he is. Yeah, where are so we've been having this discussion about what would happen if we were teaching Sunday school. Because you know we're not having Sunday school. Right, right. But if we were having Sunday school and you were teaching, what would you be teaching about? Oh, uh, well, it seems to me this would be a great Sunday to remind people about the overuse of exclamation marks. I mean, yeah. Merry Christmas, exclamation mark, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. Sweet baby Jesus boy, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. I mean, it's just too much. Jesus manger, subtle, understated, and it would be a great Sunday to help people understand that we really don't need the Oxford comma. I mean, Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Not Jesus, Mary, comma, and Joseph. Nobody's getting Mary and Joseph confused in this. That's what I would teach about if I were, but you really ought to ask George. Let's see what he has to say. Hey, George. What's up, Jared? Hey, guys. Hey, George. Hey, George. Hey, George. We were just having a discussion about what is the most important lesson that people are missing this week because we're not having Sunday school. Wait, we're not having Sunday school? No, you know, since it's two days before Christmas, no Sunday school. Well, I guess that makes sense, but okay, so when, when you talk about important lesson, I think there's an important lesson for you guys. Even though you're not teaching Sunday school, you really should take this opportunity to write a Sunday School lesson anyway because that's the rhythm of the pastoral life, right? And so you shouldn't miss the opportunity to, to do that because, I mean, you guys have it so easy as residents. Yeah, but I think the rhythm of the pastoral life also includes a few more preaching opportunities. Uh, yeah, well, you'll get plenty of that when you're a pastor, but uh, <laughs> all right. so so. If we're not having Sunday school, what time do I need to show up to preach? 10 o'clock. Or 9 o'clock for coffee and conversation. Okay, I'll, I'll see you at 10. 